you you don't care about him. You can't care about him. He gave you your swirly children and he upped your celebrity real estate and helped to change, you know, your fashion and and, and give you, you know, a, a new storyline. And that's all he's good for. That's what this tells me. That's what I see. When Where are you? Where is anyone in that family? Where is anyone? Because at the point where he's breaking down, crying, screaming like a child at a campaign rally. If I'm your wife, I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to retrieve you and take you to the back and we're going to get you some help. You are not here for him. This man is crying out and you are not here for him. And it's disgusting to me. I'm disgusted. And honestly, I'm never one for black men for their advancement. I've always tried to to see the good and to see, you know, everyone is attracted to who they're attracted to. And, you know, I, I'm clearly married to a whole ass white man. But this incident, this chain of events, I cannot ignore what everyone has been saying, what everyone has always said about all of them, all of those women who just conveniently happen to end up with black men. Because if my husband, black, white, purple, Chinese, whatever, was out in the public eye having a manic episode, because that is what this is, having mental breakdowns because that is what is happening and making a complete mockery of our political system. Please don't allow this to deter you from voting for viable candidates who actually have the experience and the scruples and the marbles and the mental stability to thank you, be able to do the job that needs to be done to get our country back to a place that makes sense. <sighs> I needed a drink because I'm, I'm losing it. I'm literally losing it. Um, but yeah, I'm done with them. I'm done with those people. I'm not even going to use their names, but the people whose job it is to take care of and protect their loved one, their husband, their son-in-law, their brother-in-law, you're trash. You're cod liver trash to me. And honestly, I don't want to watch your show. I don't want to follow you. on Now, because I'm fair, let me say this. Um, getting a conservatorship takes time and figuring out how to tackle a mentally ill person in your family takes time. If by some stroke of miracle, it turns out that while we're all bearing and enduring this circus from Kanye and his campaign, his family is in the trenches or in the wings working to get him the help that he needs and we just don't know it because that's possible, then I will sincerely apologize for this rant. And I will retract my statements about boycotting and canceling those K words. But honestly, I need to see it. And I'm not one, I'm not a proponent of asking people to prove themselves even if they are in the public. I don't want to follow you on Twitter. I don't want to buy none of your stuff. I, I don't want to see you. You are disgusting and you don't deserve to live off of the American people when you are sending your N-word, because that's what he is to you. He's your N-word with the E-R on the end. You're sending him out into the world to shuck and jive so that you can get ratings for your fucking TV show. You don't deserve another dime of any of the people, the marginalized people who you make most of your money off of, catch. You don't deserve our money. Done with you. Done with you. That's it. I'm I'm never one to subscribe to cancel culture. And I text I tweeted this a, a couple of days ago. But I'm done with all of them. 
this this whole oh yeah i will i'll be your running mate you're making a complete and utter mockery of our political system at a time when we need everyone to rally around the proper candidate so that we can get out of this hell hole and move forward okay I'm not here to tell you who to vote for, but I'm here to tell you that what is happening is intentional and it is, a, it's, oh, I thought it cut off. It's an intentional attack on our political system by these fucking psychos. And I want everyone to be awake and be clear. Please don't allow this to deter you from voting. Because I still believe that people who live their lives in the public eye are still deserving of some privacy and human decency. Because I don't always get that myself. Um, so maybe maybe they are doing something and I just, it hasn't been brought to our attention yet. But you are sending your husband, brother-in-law, son-in-law out into the world to embarrass the dog crap out of himself. And as a result, I think you all have a responsibility to speak out. You have a responsibility to say something and to counter and control this mess. This is a, this is a PR nightmare. Maybe not for you, because it's, it's just going to give you all ratings. But I'm, I'm appalled. This, his behavior is abhorrent. It's abhorrent. It's awful. That man is sick and he needs mental atten mental health attention. He needs attention from a mental health professional, not a campaign rally. So I, I pray that something, some action is being taken behind the scenes that we just don't know about yet. But in the event that it's not, suck my ass. I'm sorry, but you... You have no place in society. None.